everyone, my name is Abby and you're back in my channel. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Abby and I am here with Emily. And if you guys have ever been on my channel before, then you guys probably recognize her from a couple other videos that we have filmed or not, before. Because well, I had black hair. You did. She has blonde hair now. I'm a blonde now. So. Yeah, we are going to be doing kind of our most anticipated movies of 2017. Pretty much all I told her was to just compile a list and we will go from there. And we have no idea what's on each other's list. So it's going to be a complete surprise for both of us. Yeah. I don't know how many movies we're actually going to wind up doing, but we're just going to kind of go back and forth and talk about some of the movies that we're really excited about. So, okay, do you want to go first? Okay, coming out in 2017, <laughs> Thor Ragnarok. And I'm so excited because I am such a huge Loki fan. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited though. Okay. Yeah, I could care less. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I feel like our tastes in movies are gonna be over here. But see, that's the thing though. It's like, like you say they're over there, and we're gonna end up watching the same movies. Yeah. Like, like you say, like I have no care in the world, and then you're gonna end up watching it, and then you're gonna be just like me. So Re I guess we're, we'll stick Disney. I guess for a minute. Um. On November 22nd, Coco is releasing. It is a Disney Pixar film. It is about... Coco Puffs? The beginning of Coco Puffs and how they are made. Follows a 12-year-old boy named Miguel who sets off a chain of events relating to a century-old mystery leading to an extraordinary family reunion. Oh, so Around it's that. Book of Life times two. But it's like the it's like the Disney Pixar spin on it, I guess. Okay, well that's good. I mean, I like Book of Life, so that's actually kind of yeah. exciting. I think it's just going to be good that, because I think people are excited because I think after the disappointment that was Elena not being a movie, you know, and that they, yeah. you know, they were promising like a Hispanic princess and we got one, but it was on Disney Junior instead of, you know, in the Disney princess lineup. And I think that was kind of, right. um, so now they're making Coco, so... Yeah, I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be really, really cute. Um, I'm always a big Disney fan. I'm a huge Disney fan, for those of you that don't know that. So, oh, um, I couldn't tell. I am excited for Power Rangers! I am a huge Power Rangers fan. Huge, huge, huge. Kimberly is my spirit animal, and like whenever I'm like training with my personal trainer, like I box, I'm always like, I'm gonna embrace the inner Kimberly, and so I'm like, I'm training to be a Power Ranger. That's what I tell myself every time I'm boxing. Abby, cool. why do you not like Power Rangers? Okay. I, uh, I, Abby, I'm sorry. That was my childhood, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Coming out on June 2nd, Wonder Woman. So oh my excited. God, I'm not yes. like a huge like Marvel DC. I've never been huge into watching those movies. DC. But that's why I said Marvel I know, and, and or DC I'm because this one's DC. okay, that's cool. But <laughs> just in general, I've never been a really big superhero phenomenon type watcher. Mm -hmm. But the fact yeah. that we're finally getting a woman superhero like with her own title, like her own movie, I think it's fantastic. And even though I'm not a huge watcher of it, I'm definitely going to go and watch it to help support it and love it and be obsessed with it. And the fact so. is, Gal Gadot is perfect and beautiful. She's, and yeah. She's gorgeous. She's yeah. a woman of color. Mm -hmm. Even if she doesn't look it, she's still a woman of she color. Is. Yep. So I love her to bits. She's perfect. She's Wonder yeah. Woman. <laughs> I'm going off of that, and I'm so ready for the Justice League. Okay. <laughs> So freaking ready because have you seen Aquaman? Okay, I need you to. We're gonna. You're gonna have to put this up on the screen because Aquaman is perfect. Like who they chose. I mean, he looks nothing like his actual counterpart, mm -hmm. like his uh, comic book counterpart. Whoa, he looks awesome. Gorgeous, right? Yeah. Like it's just. Ugh, it looks so good. Yeah. I'm so ready for it. I just need to have like a Marvel slash DC, DC. marathon. I you to, do. Like, even even if I like I don't wind up loving them, it's just the whole like that is what is popular in the world right now, and I would just like to at least have like my toes dipped into th that world, so that way I'm at least familiar with we, yeah. the movies around me. You know, you definitely should because it's like. They're good though. You'll actually enjoy them. Mm -hmm. like, the next one I, I'm going to mention then is one that we've actually talked about. It's The Space Between Us. It's coming out on February 
third because we just saw a trailer for it and it looks so cute it's the one with the boy that was born on mars and the girl lives on earth and they were like pen pals and then he winds up like either escaping to earth or visiting for a field trip or something winds up meeting her and I think then he like runs away to be with her yeah but then but, but they then, can't be together though because since he was born on mars his, his heart can't yeah his like, like human, take, yeah his composition is different and so he can't take earth stuff yeah so it's pretty much like a romeo and juliet but with space coming out soon it's coming out the very beginning of february on the third and right. the guys this is my most this is my top my number one. Oh, okay of which one i'm so excited about okay and this is a very <laughs> dear to my heart okay because i used to love this as a child okay and i grew up it inspired me okay i'm ready for captain underpants the movie <laughs> Captain Underpants the movie. I couldn't even read and I remember I would just sit here and just flip the pages to see him put on his under or like his like superhero uniform. And I say it's dear to my heart and I've never read one page on Captain Underpants because I couldn't read at the time. So all I would do is flip through the pictures and hope for the best. And so now I'll actually understand, hopefully, what Captain Underpants is about. That is fantastic. Okay, cool. Yeah, my, that is my next one is coming out on May 26th, and it is Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. Hey! I'm excited for it, but at the same time, I'm just like, what's left? Well, you know, so they're pretty much saying that, because um, at first they said that Kira Knightley wasn't coming back. But she's this, back. Um, and she's going to be just near the end of it, people are saying, to help set up for the next one. The next one? Mm -hmm. Why are they not finished? Because Jack Sparrow will never die. Jack Sparrow has too much drama right now in his own personal yeah, life. Yeah, he does. Yeah. I'm just, I have two more. And these two are like kind of the two that I'm most excited for. And they can go back and forth between oh, second and first place. Like, it just depends on what I'm wanting at the time. I'm trying to think of which one. One is, is coming soon-ish, and the other's not coming until, like, literally the end of the year. Which makes me <laughs> so sad. Okay, so we're, we're going to talk about the one that's coming in March, which is the live-action Beauty and the Beast. <gasps> yes. So... I have, right now, I'm feeling very mixed reviews about it because have you heard Emma Watson singing the re the reprise? Yeah, That's I didn't think it was bad. It's so auto-tuned. It's to the point where, right now, they chose Emma Watson to be Belle for her name. I think that would it have been better to choose someone that might be lesser known, but we know has a fantastic voice. People are, are people that have got the chance to see the movie early as like testers and stuff mm -hmm. have been able to tell us that the, the music sounds a lot more natural in the movie than it does in that trailer, so I'm hopeful for it. Um, I didn't think it was so bad at all. I, I'm just, I'm not a big fan of it. I think because I, I've listened to, you know, Beauty and the Beast on Broadway, I've listened to the original Belle, so I, I hear those voices in my head. I don't want to start really, like, condemning or applauding until I actually watch it. I'm applauding it already because they're actually, instead of making her be just this soft-spoken, sweet, girl that just like lives in the in like her book world mm -hmm. she's actually doing something yeah she's actually playing in the like in the defense area you know like she's mm -hmm. actually bringing something to the table which i think she'd be the first princess to do yeah besides like you know like moana i am v v v v v very excited for king arthur <laughs> No? Seriously? <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> Not even like a slow clap? Too slow. When young Arthur's father is murdered, Arthur's uncle seizes the crown. Robbed of his birthright with no idea who he truly is, Arthur comes up in the hard way in the back alleys of the city, but once he pulls a sword from the stone, 
His life is turned upside no, down. So it's, the, so it's Lion King meets Sword in the Stone. But yeah, I'm excited for King Arthur. And that is my last movie. The last one, like I said, comes out almost the very end of the year. It comes out on December 22nd. So I have so long to wait. But it is Pitch Perfect 3. I don't know what's gonna, what what's the storyline. I, I have really no idea what the storyline is gonna be, but I think it's gonna be really, really fun. I have yet to um, see the second one. We'll have to make sure we do that because it's really, really good. I like the second one for the fact that um, one of, like, a really big YouTuber mm -hmm. was in it. Flula. Who? Flula. That's a cute name. Is that her real name? Hen. Oh, <laughs> I'm my bad. Um, yes. Flula. He sounds cute. He's German. You know, I couldn't tell. <laughs> you know, I just assumed he was American. You never know. With, with a name like Flula. I know. like the name Flula, though. Um, and he, cute. like, beatboxed and stuff and was really good. I really cannot wait to see what this third one's going to be about. And if they're going to bring back the full cast or not. Um, I, I just need Britney Snow and Anna Kendrick to be. Yeah. Those are all the movies that we would like to see, and I'm sure there's going to be more as they continue to pop up and stuff. The most intrigued one I'm intrigued about for intriguing for 2017 of intriguement mm -hmm. is the next episode of Shadowhunters, truly. Like, I just want to watch Shadowhunters. Like, yeah. I'm just on a Shadowhunters binge. Like, I literally binged it the last two days, so and good. now I'm just like, what do I do with my life? You know what you need to watch? series of unfortunate events. I saw that it was good. It was I... so good. I've already watched all eight episodes. Oh, dang. It was really good. Dang. Really good. Well, if you guys would like to see a TV review then, Ooh, let us know. Do a TV review. That'd be fun. So, oh, I would talk everybody's heads off because that's all I ever do. That's all right. That's all right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. No, no. No, no thumbs up. No, thumbs up. No. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below. Click subscribe. <laughs> and then make sure you guys hit that uh, notification bell that lets you guys know when I make new videos, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye! Bye.